Okay, Coach Mike, we're going to take a look at something that's really important with anybody's physical game. It's going to be the ball start when they get into the approach, the push away specifically, right? Exactly, because if you don't get the start of the swing going, you really can't get into a good flow and a good rhythm and make a good shot. Absolutely, it's a very important part of anybody's game. It's important to know not only what to do, but if you get out of sync for any reason, you gotta be able to get right back in line somehow. So we've got a student here, this is Keely, right? Keely. She's gonna help us a little bit with identifying some of an issue with her push away, and you've got a drill you're gonna help her with, right? Yes, we've got a nice simple drill and a game that you can use to help score yourself and evaluate how you're doing with it. Okay, so let's take a look at Keeley's game. Let's take a, an idea of what we're gonna do with this game and let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, Keeley. First couple of things I saw is the tendency to just hold the push away a little bit rather than get it started. Anytime you get something in motion, you wanna keep it in motion. So we want to get that push away started and keep it flowing. Now, did you have a question about the push away in terms of what you're feeling? Sometimes I feel like if I push too early, or not too early, but if I'm pushing early mm -hmm. for me, which makes it on time, right. that sometimes my balance gets thrown off. Okay, so there's a couple things going on with your push away, actually. One of them is just when you get it started, because anytime you start and stop and then start again, you're really starting your whole approach again over because all your momentum has stopped at that point along with the stopping of the push away. The other thing that's going on is just the tendency to push it out to the right. And it's a real common thing to try to push the ball out toward your target. But if we align our shoulders and our hips properly and line them up to the target line we're trying to go to, then all you have to do is just feel like you're, you get that push away going right in front of your shoulder and then walk around the ball with the crossover step and everything will take care of itself. So let's do a, a simple drill that's gonna help you get to that point where you feel like the push away just falls into your swing. So we're gonna take a series of push aways and the first one, I want you to just take your first two steps because you're a five step bowler and then just lay the ball into my hands. Okay, that was pretty good, but your tendency still is to hold some of the ball weight back. I want you to let the ball weight all fall into my hands. There you go. Just let it all fall into my hands. There you go. Now just relax. Relax that upper body. Just let it all fall in. Good. Now what I want you to do is take do that six times on your own where you let it get to that point where it would just, the next thing that would happen is the ball would just absolutely fall into your swing. And let's see how that looks. Good. Make sure your upper body stays relaxed so you let it fall. There you go. Nice and easy and relaxed and just let it fall into the swing. Is there a certain height that it should fall to? Uh, just a little below waist height. Good. Good. Okay, how many was that? I wasn't really counting. <laughs> okay, we're gonna say that was six. Okay, now what you're gonna do is take your time, dry your hand off, and then we're gonna have you roll two full approaches. Okay, so that was the first round. And ideally, we would do this up to 10 times, doing the six approaches, just doing the first two steps, and then doing two full approaches. And in fact, we have a scoring system for it. So in the scoring system, you would score yourself a point for each time you feel like you do the drill properly, just doing the first two steps, and then score yourself two points for each of the two times that you take a full approach and it works good. So in that scoring system, 10 would be a perfect score for the round. In that way, you can evaluate on your own when you're practicing when this works well, when you get that good feel for getting the push away moving, and when you don't. And you can track your progress. So we're gonna do one more round of this. Go ahead and take the six approaches, the six drills with the two step, and then we'll do two full approaches. 
or it's gonna be at that point where it just falls into the swing. Okay, now at this point, it's also really important to set the ball down, dry your hand off, loosen up your body, because doing this type of drill repetitively will tend to tighten up your body just a little bit. So now go ahead when you're ready for the two full shots. Okay, so how'd those last two shots feel? I guess the first one to me felt like it was a little slow and maybe a little too far down. The second shot felt really smooth and nice. Right, the second shot, you're starting to find that rhythm of what works for you individually, your individual physiology and what works for you. And what works for you isn't gonna be the same as what works for everybody else. And so it's just a matter of finding that rhythm that's going to work for you to get the ball into the swing nice and clean, nice and smooth and continuous and in front of your shoulder. And it'll take a little bit of time to get used to it. Yeah. So you just have to repeat the drill, go through the drill, repeat the drill. And over time, that push away is going to clean right up. I like the scoring system because it gives you something to aim for. So you're not just sort of out there. Yeah, and, and it makes practices, it. Yeah. It makes makes practices it more fun. <laughs> yeah. So it'll be a good way to measure it. Okay, Mike, so we've gone through quite a drill here, getting the just the push away changed for Keeley's game. I uh, saw quite a few things when you were working with her that I think are really going to benefit her right away. How did she perceive the lesson overall? I think she did really well. It just it takes a little bit of time when you're used to holding on to the push away and stopping that momentum and restarting it to really get to that feel where it's a continuous motion from the push away right into the downswing. Right. Um, just watching from what you guys were doing, it was pretty obvious to me that whenever she was holding on to the swing and not getting into it so loosely like you're talking about, I think her footwork was a little bit slower and her arm string was a little bit stronger at the bottom of the swing, meaning she was pulling down on it. I think whenever you gave her those drill steps, it actually worked pretty well in loosening up her arm string getting into the swing and her footwork, I, got, I think, got faster. With her faster footwork, I think she also had a faster ball speed in the finish position. Exactly, because if you don't create the motion to be a continuous flow from start to finish, you're gonna have these hesitations and it's gonna slow down and ultimately you're not gonna be as good at repeating shots. Absolutely, accuracy is gonna be a big deal and this simple drill like you're talking about can be something easy to clean up somebody's accuracy. So thanks again for, for your work with Keely, appreciate that and uh, this would be a great tip that anybody can use in their own game at home. Absolutely and by using the scoring part of the drill it makes it more fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>